Oh, no. You're not gonna believe this. Oh, it's just broke down. It's just broke down. Hello guys, it's Sean Thompson here and welcome back to another video. It is a pretty, pretty miserable Monday. Here we are, sat in my lorry, but we're only taking the trailer off it and my stuff out of it. Because today, or this week, we're going off in this wagon here. Unfortunately, my lorry failed its brake test on 9 o'clock uh, Friday morning and uh, the garage that I get my R&M done with uh, decided to tell me at quarter to five that they can't give me my lorry back on Friday and they'll look at it Monday. So, um, yeah. There she is. All hooked up. Hopefully we can get that one back for next week. That'd be handy. But anyways, here's today's load. Big cat digger. Then a wee one up the front and we're going to Litchfield. I, I don't know if I've put that too far forward. I feel like that was right at the time. There's also three buckets, two buckets in there. Plus the one on the hitch, and then three buckets up the front for the other digger. And uh, aye, aye, good. No, oh, you're not gonna believe this. Oh, thank you for calling. It's just broke down. It's just broke down. You're having a laugh, boys. I just came up. Fuel pressure warning. I am down to five miles an hour. Climbing, climbing for that layby. This isn't on, man. This actually isn't on. How is this one broke down on the one day I need it? Yes, 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 Tried to unhook it for the trailer, and now it won't start. Jesus Christ, man. Hell boys, here we are. <laughs> what are we on? 12 o'clock. I picked this lorry up at 7 o'clock. Broke down about half seven. So it's uh, it's no bad service there. Huh? No bad service, but anyways, we're on the go. Basically the boy was saying fuel filter was all clogged up to shit. Uh, something to do with some sort of tank bug. Uh, bear in mind we've only had this lorry two months, uh, and before that it was X McPherson's. Um, so you just say no, just, just try and avoid running it low, all that kind of shite. And uh, aye, what I didn't do was put the car on brake. So we have four and a half hours of other work that I have not completed. <laughs> I mean, that's the nicest way possible. 500, eh, Volvo FH 500, mine's only a 540, it's only 40 horsepower difference. This thing is gutless. That wasn't even a big hill, she was struggling there. Eh? down to 30 miles an hour <sighs> <laughs> and I've got a funny feeling the limiter isn't it. I've got a funny feeling it's 56 is going to be less than 56 is what I meant to say see so here we go I'll take that back about the pulling up hill because uh, she's doing 40 up this hill here anybody who has ever driven in and out of Scotland will know it I don't really know the name of it it's on the M74 and I just call it the big hill um, 40 is not bad though. 40 is a bit slow, but not bad. What I'm not looking forward to is finding out what the limit is like. I f hate being back at 55 miles an hour. Well, what, 54 miles an hour, you know what I mean? Mine sits 56 on a dot. Um, I just, this is pissed, man. This could be overtaking me for half an hour, right? I'm actually having to slow down because this guy's going even f slower. <sighs> I actually can't wait to get my lorry back, man. <laughs> I said, this lorry's lovely. It drives well. She's pulling fairly well. You know, it's a nice lorry. I don't want to sound spoiled and be like, oh, fucking, uh, I want my lorry back, but. <sighs> I do want my lorry back.
This is the slowest overtake I've ever done in my life, I swear to God. I've been catching this man for the past half an hour. I've not yet had my opportunity. Oh, hey, oh, oh, oh yes! Oh, flat out with the 54 miles an hour. I think I'm losing him. I think he's getting faster. He's overtaking me. Oh, mate. <laughs> He, he's actually passed me like I'm standing still. Ah, this this lorry is dog shit slow. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I wish I'd recorded that. Uh, I made an absolute arse of myself reversing in here. <laughs> Mid lift are a wee bit harder to, to reverse. Or a wee bit different to reverse for, for my heel tag and I've just made a pro I made a proper arse here. Yeah. I, I was away up there and I was fucking snaking left, right. You know, oh, mate, I'm leaving parts in the top bit. Because uh, <laughs> I just kept making an arse of the, the reversing. Anyways, 45 minute break and then we'll uh, fire on in the road. <laughs> yeah, good. Yes. Oh, boys, we're fucking up on things, son. I get it so far round, you get a mid left right. Mine's a mid lift. The machine's not. Your call is important to us. Remember, our team will be told there, but it doesn't seem to be coming through. No, at the small stations, there's no M A. <laughs> Excuse me, there's no A N P R cameras. All oh, right, right, right. Okay, only at the big ones. Just let me put it in for you. Let's see what happens. <laughs> big loads only, boys. Big loads only. Oh, boy, see, after the day, I thought can, today was going to be the first day I ever let my, my, well, my customers down. Which isn't that much, because if you think about it, I've only been working, um, finding jobs for myself for the past three weeks. But, regardless, we're here. I said I'd pick them up Thursday, and obviously it'd be off the road Friday for safety, and I'd deliver them Monday. Here we are. I went in, and the boy's like, yeah, it's 24 hour offloading. <laughs> Nay, bother at all. Let's get these offloaded. Downside is I don't really know how to do the whole kind of bucket thing, but I want that out. Cross that bridge when you come to it, but I'm just I'm just glad we're getting these off tonight. Right, so one thing I was always taught is if you don't know how to use a quick hitch, get yourself a wee sling and improvise. And uh, I don't know how to use a quick hitch, so uh, that's exactly what we'll be doing. going slow, I want to try and roll that one over because yeah, that one's on its side now and then I can use them both independently Slowly does it I'm not in a rush and I'd rather take my time because it's the first time I've ever done this so uh Oh, watch my Junibrite, you say you dirty bastard you That would just finish me off today uh, smashing the old Junibrites Right, and then change the sling and do that one It's actually a very good tip Thank you very much, George. All right, buckets off. I'll move them in a minute. I'm just more concentrated in getting this digger off because again, not overly confident with dr driving them yet. So I just like to take it nice and slow. There's no rush. There's nobody watching me, so I'm not bothered about that. Just take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. I'll be honest with you, that maybe took a wee bit longer. But that is the first time I've ever taken digger buckets off by myself, so I'm pure fucking. I'm gonna hide them out there. Oh. Not that you can see much, but there's one. Last one off, and let's get going. These ones, eh. Uh... I can work these small ones a hell of a lot better. I think just because they're smaller, eh? I can even do the foot controls. But I think that's just because I'm a wee bit more confident on these rather than the big bad boys. But I'll get there eventually. <laughs> oh, we did it, boys. I know that's maybe not a big achievement to put folk, but that is the first time I've ever moved diggers with buckets by myself. More than one bucket, sorry. I've moved a digger with one bucket attached, no bother. 
but never ever loaded or unloaded loose buckets. <sighs> Thank God I had that sling by the way, that saved the day. But anyways, let's get it all tidied up and uh, get out of here. Oh boys, there they are, all delivered. There's a trail up. I cannot believe, even though the shit day we had, the shit start we had, the five hours off road, we still managed to get these diggers delivered on the promised day, albeit eight o'clock, which is about 12 hours late as to what I originally planned, but they wanted them collected Thursday, delivered Monday, so I believe I've done my best and I'm quite happy with how that's happened. Anyways, oh, man alive, eh? man alive, what a Monday. Anyways, we're here at North King Services, got a wee McDonald's on the go. I'll eat that, do a bit of editing. Just get to bed. I'm so glad this day's done, man. See, at the start this morning, I'd fucking... Can't even tell you how ready I was just to throw it on. Oh, Tuesday, 8 a.m. Let's get the day started, because I am... All right, here we are. Backload. Now, I did have it strapped on the wheels originally, but she's rocking too much due to a lack of a handbrake. So nothing. A trusty chain can't pull forward. You can see the original straps, so I had that strap that way, that strap that way, but she was rocking. So, uh, chain solve a problem. But anyways, we're taking that up to Ghoul. It's not an amazing paying job, it's, it's not even a part load. Well, it is part of the trailer, I suppose. But it's literally just to get me up that way for the next load. And it pays my diesel later, and I make maybe like 20, 30 bucks on it. But it means I'm not spending 200 quid on diesel to get up to my next load for Scotland so eh uh, aye good aye good right as that one tipped I'm not gonna lie uh, we're in a bit of a rush now we've gone from being uh, really quiet to just flat out busy in the space of about five minutes um, so bit of a rush on let's get going alright here we are just quickly dropping the other trailer off and then we'll come and pick it back up tomorrow we just gotta take all the lines off the kingpin, all that jazz, and then go find the trailer we're delivering. Can he be asked today? Yeah, can he actually be asked? Found the trailer, and look how fucking close they've tipped him right to each other. Look, good driver and all that for one person, but fucking hell, how am I meant to even I'm look at fucking moon this side? But Jesus Christ, alive, man. Right, that's her all ready to go. This is still worrying me, yeah. Jesus Christ alive! Let's see what happens. It's funny I wouldn't do it by, but my worry is getting the turn here. Oh. Ah, that was actually not bad. I think I was just there. Uh, you know. All right, we two hours down the road, and we're almost at Coventry to drop this trailer off, and then turn and burn back up to where we drop our trailer off, pick it up, and uh, continue on with our day. Well, all right, nice wee quick job. Trailer's all nice and tipped. They're just uh, looking over it now, so last thing I'm going to do is get the old camera out. Uh, but now we're just turning and burning back the way we came and uh, go pick our trailer up. Tomorrow morning, unfortunately. All right, just pulled into the wee welcome break here for a 45 minute break. And uh, aye, we'll get some food, shower, and then fire on. <sighs> Cannot wait. Yeah, I'll take a short break from uh, I'm sure in here, uh, because I got a phone call to book some jobs. So, uh, <laughs> that can wait. Oh, yes, food shower and a wee walk around the services. Boom, 47 minutes. Right, let's head on. Don't normally fill up before I park up, but when I'm parking up, it's nice, safe, and secure. Saves us time tomorrow as well. All right, Wednesday morning, here we are, picking the trailer back up and then heading for a load back up to Sunny. That was a bit awkward, they thought I was stealing that trailer. It's my fucking trailer, you cunts. Uh, but I left it in the yard overnight, so makes sense that they thought it was theirs. All right, here we are, CVA auctions. And by the way, staff here, so friendly compared to the last place. No offense, eh? But like, you know, just, you all right, mate? How are you instead of, what is it? <laughs> Anyways. Here we go. Time is now.
Too much a Russian man and the boys just f***ing out to go deal with somebody else. We're on mid loading, mate. Mid loading. It's taking me an hour now. There she is, all loaded, strapped and chained. A wee bit of a hassle, but that's what it is. Change pulling front, change pulling back, and it's sitting flush against the ramps here. It will be scratching the ramp, but let's be honest, it's done enough damage to the trailer, this fucking thing, man. Got the state of the floor in here. It's all ripped up and scored and uh, transport. Jeez, I peeps, man. Three hours into the drive here. I think I've done, I don't know how many miles. I don't know, I'm sorry. Here we are. Coming up to the good old sign, the big Scottish border. And as always, it's pissing the rain. All right, fast forward a fair bit of time now. We're back at the yard. We have swapped units over from the spare wagon back into mine. As you can see, I've just absolutely fucking chucked everything in my bag, my bedding, everything. So we're going to quickly sort that out. Have we nine off in the yard here? I've got a backlight to fix as well. I cracked the lens on it, being a bit of a fanny, if I'm being honest. All right, so we'll get that sorted and then. Uh, Get back on the road. Uh, Volvo must have been taking my hubs off because they're a fucking state and all. As you can see, a bit dark out here, but here is the cracked lens. We reversed into somewhere and smashed that bit here. Luckily, the rest of the lens is absolutely fine. It's just the actual front of the lens here. It's all nice and smashed up. Fucking hell. Luckily, just have started this, the rain scheme. So quickly get this done as quick as we can and then get ready for the next shift all right that is that one off beautiful oh it's broken now right new ones all on all secure works lovely uh and pretty much i that's that's it done <laughs> Oh, I'm tired man, I, uh, I honestly see this week I've just not been in the mood for recording, I do apologise. I don't know if he's I've been able to see a difference but I'm just not in the mood for it this week and I do apologise. But anyways, that is us done and that is going to be us done for the video. So thank you all for watching, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video, sorry about the wind, when we deliver this trailer to Glasgow and head on to New York Truck Ship Fest. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.